Hello students, this is your geography lesson. Students, today we are going to learn about transport and telecommunications. So this is uh, unit number 11 from your book. The title of the unit is Transport and Telecommunications. So we start our lesson. The prosperity of a country is largely depends upon the efficiency of its means of transportation because without adequate means of transportation, there can be little progress in industry and in agriculture. In places with poor means of transportation, imported articles are available at high prices and locally produced goods yield little profit because the market for them is restricted to the immediate neighborhood. For the same reason, goods from a part of the country which produces surplus products than its requirements cannot be sent to regions that suffer from a shortage. Lack of efficient means of transportation affects not only the economical conditions of the peoples of a particular area, but it also affects their culture. As Isolated people remain conservative in their outlook and thinking as compared to some developed parts of their own country or with some advanced countries of the world. There are various parts of our country which are very backward and there is acute shortage of efficient means of transportation due to unfavorable topographical and climatic conditions. The following means of transportation are found in our country. Number one, waterways, river or ocean transportation. Number two, inland transportation, roads and railways. Number three, air transportation, airways. The roads of Pakistan. Roads are considered very important means of transportation in our country. Roads have connected different cities. So that goods produced and manufactured in the country may be sent inside and outside markets as quickly as possible. And in the same way, the imported goods may be sent to the inside areas of the country in the shortest possible time. But all parts of our country are not connected by roads and many villages and mountainous areas are deprived of this facility and transportation is hazardous and kacha roads are difficult to perform work. Because of our limited resources, attention has not been paid to the construction and development of roads. However, after the creation of Pakistan in many parts of the country, Pakka roads have been constructed and special attention is being paid the extant roads in many parts of the country. National Highway Authority a department named National Highway Authority has constituted for the repair planning and to look after the national highways of different parts of the country. This department has the responsibility to look after the country's highways 4%, i.e. 7,404 km under her control. Through these highways, 63% traffic of this country is being utilized. The names of national highways of Pakistan are as following. Karachi to Turkham via Lahore, Karachi to Chaman via Kalat and Kwaita, Rori to Kwaita via Sakar, Jakbabad, Sibi, Silk Route or Karakaram Highway. Highway projects Karachi, Multan, Lahore to Turham and 5 Mansehra to Naran, Jalkhad, Khagan Valley Road and 15 Karachi to Khuzdar, then Quetta to Chaman and 25 Hassan Abdal to Gilgit, Gilgit to Khunjrab and 35 lag pass 
کوئٹہ ٹو نو کندی تافتان اینڈ فورٹی کچھ چھلک ٹو زوب زوب ٹو ڈیرا اسماعیل خان اینڈ ففٹی جام شورو لارکانا ٹو پشاور اینڈ ففٹی فائیو روڑی ٹو سبی سبی ٹو کوئٹا اینڈ سکسٹی فائیو قلعہ سیف اللہ ڈی جی خان ٹو ملتان اینڈ سیونٹی لاہور اسلام آباد موٹر وے وید لنکس ایکول ٹو تھری سکسٹی سیون کلومیٹر موٹر وے پروجیکٹس اسلام آباد ٹو پشاور موٹر وے ایم ون ون ففٹی فور کلومیٹر لاہور ٹو اسلام آباد موٹر وے ایم ٹو تھری ہنڈر سکسٹی سیون کلومیٹر لاہور بائی پاس پینڈی بھٹیان ٹو فیصل آباد موٹر وے ایم تھری ففٹی ٹو کلومیٹر کراچی ٹو ہیدر آباد موٹر وے ایم نائن ون سٹی فائف کلومیٹر کراچی نوردن بائی پاس ایم ٹین سکسٹی فور کلومیٹر فیصل آباد ٹو ملتان موٹر وے لاہور سیال کوٹ موٹر وے اینڈ ادر مسیلینیس پروجیکٹس پاکستان ریل ویز Railways are also considered as most popular and important means of transportation. Although system of railway in our country was introduced by the British, at the existence of Pakistan, our railway had to face many problems, but laterly some problems have been solved. However, Pakistan railway is still facing some problems. problems such as shortage of locomotive and wooden sleeper for tracks etc pakistan railways play an important role in the progress of our country long journeys through railways involve little loss of time and heavy freight can be carried easily in facilitating the movement of the people and goods railway plays an important role Besides their economic and strategic value, railways are also an important source of revenue to the government and provide employment to many people. Pakistan Railways use three kinds of railway tracks. One, broad railway tracks. The width of this track is 5 feet 3 inch from Peshawar to Karachi. Broad gauge is late. Number 2. Meter gauge. This railway track's width is 3 feet 3 inch. Number 3. Narrow gauge. This railway track's width is approximately 2 feet 6 inch. After the creation of Pakistan between the areas of Kashmir and Dera Ghazi Khan, Mardan to Charsada, Jakbaba to Kashmir, Hyderabad to Mirpur Khas and small gauge have been replaced with broad gauge. Besides this, for the facility of the citizens of Karachi, Karachi Circular Railways has been completed. Pakistan Airways in present, no country can deny the importance of means of communication. After the World War II, the airways introduced in the subcontinent. In the beginning, only special class of people used to utilize this service. But with the passage of time, it became available to the ordinary people of Pakistan. At the time of the establishment of Pakistan, there were only one or two airways companies. However, since that time, Pakistan Airways Company has been running airways business inside and outside the country. The government is also paying special attention to provide facility to the people, keeping in view the growing needs of the people. Water Transport Though in ancient times most of the business and voyage from one place to another was undertaken through rivers. However, in the modern age due to the construction of dams on the rivers, the quantity of water has decreased in the rivers. Moreover, the supply in the rivers of our country is not constant throughout the year. 
so the ships are used only when the water supply is sufficient for floating the ships and passengers and goods are transferred from one place to another our country is called the basin of the river indus and the river indus and its right and left tributaries irrigate this area our country's commercial ships not only conduct their own export import goods for example rice cement artificial fertilizer cast iron wheat and other goods but they also conduct business for other countries like afghanistan besides this pakistan national shipping corporation has started container service between karachi to colombo and singapore which is going on successfully moreover special service has been started with the people's republic of china and most of the commercial goods of our country are transported through corporation telecommunications what are telecommunications telecommunication devices include radios televisions telephones facsimile machines and computers these devices which provide rapid long distance communication convert sound and images into signals which are then transmitted along wires or radio waves in world wide systems the internet is one of the recent developments in telecommunications it is a world wide network that links computer by telephone and satellite it allows people to send and receive emails to create websites of information on the network called the world wide web to obtain information from websites anywhere in the world another recent development in telecommunications is the hand held mobile phone the mobile phone networks are used to send and receive text messages in addition to spoken communications these networks may also be used to access the internet this wireless access can bring the advantages of internet use to people in those rural areas which lack telephone lines the use of personal computers to access the internet has put a great burden on the telephone system as computer messages are being sent over telephone lines and at rapidly increasing speeds this burden has encouraged the development of digital transmission technology Thanks for listening. For new videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel. And if you like my videos, please share and like.